welcome back guys it's me here again in this video i'll be showing you the complete guide about installing the vmware workstation on your windows and with windows installation in it okay so let's get started uh, all the required links will be in the description so don't worry we got here the vmware setup let's just run it first It's actually VRL Workstation Pro 16. Let's just wait for a bit. There we go. Accept the terms. Click on next. Click on this option. Okay. Here you can change the destination folder where you want it to be installed the workstation. In my case, it's gonna be D drive. I'm gonna create a folder named VMware. I'm gonna select this folder. Here, my VMware will be the folder. Okay, click on next. Uh, uncheck this. Box. Also, the box. Click on next and check this box. You want to be start menu shortcut, so you have to click on this box. Okay, click on next. Now, you have to press start. It. Okay, the installation is done. Now we have to click on the license. Here I'm providing some keys. With the help of this, we can activate it. Let's just copy the first key. Now we're gonna run the workstation. Now start using an operating system in it. I'll show you how to install an operating system in virtual machine. Let's go ahead and click on this button. Create a virtual machine. Okay, actually. There are two methods by which you can install the operating system. Currently, I'm showing you in this video is typical one. Okay, this is recommended. So, so click on next. Okay, we're gonna browse the ISO. Uh, Windows 909. On next uh, if you do really have the product key of the windows you can enter it here otherwise leave it for later you can also activate it so kms or whatever the method you are going to use okay so here you're gonna choose the name i'm gonna choose the name. password is optional so we're gonna leave it blank click on next Okay, this is gonna promote that if you enter the product key, so it's okay. Let's just click okay, yes. Okay, let's just leave it there, okay. The location. Click on next. Currently I'm giving it a TGB of phase, okay. You can give me more give it more or less, it's up to you guys. So I'm gonna give it a TGB and click on next. Customize hardware. Okay, here we can make some modifications to our hardware gonna use by the virtual machine. Okay, let's go ahead and click on customize hardware. Here processor. Okay, RAM. My RAM is currently 16 GB, so I'm gonna give it 8 gigs. 
it doesn't really matter guys if you got the 8 gb you can give it 4 gb uh, it's also gonna work on 3 gb though so keep it in mind yeah it's always better okay you're gonna click on this icon if you got the amd you're planning to use the internet on this machine so you can choose this or also the switch connections okay i'm gonna leave it be usb controller leave it be default auto detect here printer if you wanted to use printer in it so you can use it currently i don't want to use printer in virtual machine i'm gonna remove it also keep display it out of select processor down to okay now let's just close it and click on finish it will take some time to create a virtual machine so let's just go and see this process up Guys, you can see we have successfully installed the Windows 1909 in a virtual machine. And also, I'm gonna show you this about the OBS. You can see it's licensed, okay, for expiration. So, hope you guys like the video. Hit the subscribe button.